Hi, John here. It's um, Sunday today, the 21st of July 2024, and I just want to make a public announcement of events that unfolded today and yesterday, with the Hui supposed to be in Hastings for the Native Magistrate King's Bench Court, and what I had <coughs> to um, make public statement there for Michelle Coco and to take over the Native Court and continue. Well, I've lost my confidence in what was three times that it failed to eventuate as a court hearing. Number 60, number 61, number 62 didn't happen and Andy's not very happy. I'm not very happy. I've been with him for years and this is the first time we've had three failures in a row and it's not acceptable to me or him that we should carry on and in this fashion because I'm keeping my profile up and we're, 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 we're doing the bank at the moment with Scarlet Bank in France and also in Singapore and Australia and New Zealand and Britain and it's not going to ruin my reputation and my profile with way, the way business is running here with, um, with um, um, less than adequate um, <coughs> profile on anybody that's going to take over the Magistrate King's Bench Court and I won't allow it and I told Andy that is it. You'll have to go with the Pope and his crypto <coughs> because I do not have the Moai Crown chip coin or the pound note in place to replace what the Pope has done with the World Bank and the IMF are not waiting around. They've already gone. The train has left and the, the CEO, Rios, is gone with the, with the crypto and also with the Ripple and um, Ripple and um, um, XRP and Bitcoin as their three major um, crypto currencies and I've learned in a short space of time how it works but it's gone ahead and their train has left and our train is standing still. So I'm going to have to learn by their way of doing things before I go ahead and put my head on the block with people that may ruin my profile in business. And I don't want anyone doing what I do with a native court and I gave Michelle the chance to go solo on the court. I'm not confident enough because what I've seen is not making me happy or Andy or my team here. I'm teaching them how the bank works, how the crypto works and how to make money and that's a new for me. It's only taken me a month to fast track myself to learn how the Pope is making money and to take the birth certificates. All your birth certificates are now owned outright by the Pope as bought Ancestry.com out for 5.7 billion and he owns all the DNAs in the world which is sovereignty. Your sovereignty is owned by the Pope now and I can't do anything about that but to look after what I'm doing and to get the Protestant Church and King Jack Liam from Hamilton Free FM Radio Ham Hamilton to prop him up as the King William III of Orange DNA bloodline royal family and he is the one I'm going to look after and nobody else because I'm going to look after his title to this whole country and the whole world of Dutch founding New Zealand and the Dutch founding money laws of making Admiralty the money making machine and acts of Westminster Parliament that the Queen Victoria Crown sold off to the Muslims and they swear their oath of office, office to Allah and, and not to 
Queen or King Charles. And what's the use of King Charles with his head going on the power note, the one bar power note, and Queen Elizabeth's head going on the, the power note with the one bar, uh, unpatented power note, and never got the royal assent from the British Emperor, King William III of Orange, and his royal Westminster crown, British crown, consent, or royal assent to certify and, and put it into common law in the low House of Commons, the single bar power note, which makes it illegitimate, illegal and fraudulent, fake power note converted to US dollar fiat money, fake money that had nothing underneath to hold it up, and now they want to put the crypto to hold up the cash with cash that you're only allowed as a billionaire and millionaire in that system of private corporation with no stock market. They're not on the stock market. They're going to crash the stock market and all the cryptos on it will go. Only one crypto left, Ripple. Ripple. The Ripple is owned now by the IMF, International Monetary Fund, and the World Bank, and its director, Rios. Rio Rios. And she is the director of Ripple, and she's the director of the IMF World Bank. And so you have no choice now but to accept her crypto from the iwi, and they are the wallet holders with the most money crypto in it, and you have to buy the government's guaranteed crypto from now on because I can't help you with the Moai chip coin and the Moai pound note, two bar patented pound note that got the royal assent from King William III of Orange and his 1689 War Powers Act and his 1694 Bank of England Act and his 1694 Pound note, two bar, patented, raw assent. Okay, so I can't help you anymore by having court hearings that are going nowhere. And therefore, I won't do anything with any more court hearings, uh, Michelle. I resign my fact from you to not use my documents, not use the flag, the Confederation of United Tribes flag, for your documents and your court hearing because you let me down and I can't afford to have my profile and my company name ruined by incompetence of not having a hui when I wanted to have a hui and help you. I can't help you no more because I don't want my reputation wrecked in public and especially where things are going with Jack. I want to support Jack, um, Liam in the Free FM Radio 89 in Hamilton, and I want to support Dean Murray there as the United Tribes Confederation of Chiefs flag, and nobody else. Just those two that support me all the way, and nobody else. Just them two, and their brain. Okay, both their brain. Dean Murray to support the Chiefs United Tribes of Altair New Zealand flag, as a confederation of chiefs, and he's in that side. He's not with the Whakaputanga. That means that he belongs to the Ngāpui and the Whakamimia and Maori government and all government there is up there. And that's your call now with the Pope. You have to go with the Pope now because he's got his train gone. It's left the station and it will never go backwards because it's gone. And you've missed it and that's not my fault. I'm just telling you, I'm um, accepted reality that the train is gone and my train is late. That's right, and I've got to keep going and learn from them, the, the experts on money, because I don't know anything about money, but I will be before long. So I'm saying, Rios, where's her fucking name? Where's her name? I'm going to find her name. 
Rios, where's Rios? Rios? Where's her name? Where's her name? Roxanne Yvonne. Where is her name? Hang on, I'll find the remedy yet. Rios. I'll find it yet. I must get her name right. She's the director of the train that's left the station. And you're left behind. All of you. Because you failed to listen what I'm saying. And no more time left. It's gone. And when it's gone, it's gone. They're on their way now. They wasn't waiting around for me or anybody because they don't have to listen to me. They listen to themselves and I'm learning all their tricks. Where's this bloody woman's name? Bitcoin. Yvonne, Melbourne. Australia. Elijah. Albany, IOD, gosh man, I should have had it right here where I can see it, and I don't know where it is, it'll be somewhere here, I just want to tell you her name, so you know who I'm talking about, and because I can't find it. Rios, Rios, that's the same name, it's Rios, Ripple, Rios, where's her name? Gosh, this is frustrating, Rios, 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 I've got it down somewhere, Rios, back here somewhere, Rios, No, I haven't got it yet. Ripple Labs. I wrote that all today. Ripple and Rios. Where is Rios? Rios, Rios. No, I haven't got it. Anyway, I can't find it. But that's who it is. Rios. Rosie Rios. There we go, XRP Ripple Director. The Ripple Director is Rossi, Rossi, Rosie Rios. And she has 1.8 trillion of her own money in Ripple. And on the um, World Bank IMF. She is the richest woman in the world, I said, but really no. It's Eddie Mitchell with 18, 17 trillion of stolen money from me. Okay? He's the richest in the world of crypto at the moment because they're going crypto and all the money he's got is gone into crypto because he's hidden it in the crypto. And I tell you what, the crypto, its real meaning is a transfer of money and not the crypto itself. Right? The crypto money is crypto net. That's the company. These are tricky now. I learn all the time. It's in my head now. And their money is commodity. It's commodity. And they're using money to prop up. They're using fair, dirty money, washed up, laundered money. And it's used to prop up their money, crypto, as, as a means of storage of money now. It was a store of energy. Now it's a store of money as Ripple Net. Ripple Net. Company of money. That's, the, that's just like all the rest of their commodities as the tradable items safely transferred through Ripple. The means of transferring money safely all over the world. And we're using Scarly. Now, 2008, they put that together. All long ago, all experience, more experience, and more people that are specialized in collecting debt. And um, Tutakataki, Tutakataki, and that's the debt company I'm using, and, 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 
and the other company that I'm using with them to recover the debt of Eddie Mitchell. The 18, 17 trillion to recover from him. You have Thunes. Thunes, ATM machine in Singapore, and they've got Scarly right there. I'm using, I'm telling you this because I know what I'm doing with that money system crypto. Because Scarly got a better, safer cryptocurrency, and we've got the sovereignty of King William III of Orange and Jack Liam, the only person in the world that I know is a direct bloodline to his sovereignty. And the Pope has got compromised sovereignty. It's not real sovereignty. And we're going to snap it off him. You see, watch this space when I get to know all this lot. And I'm getting to the bottom of it. Okay? I'll expose it. But all you people that uh, that are waiting for me don't have to wait anymore because I've got no time. The train is left. You're gone and you've got to go with the iwi and his big wallet. And you've got to go that way because I can't help you anymore. I'm going to learn how money works. And I've got to go through my apprenticeship because Scarly told me, oh John, you have to learn. It takes 12 months before we'll give you a license. See? So I've got all my emails from Pinto, uh, Nicholas Pinto, that it knows what I'm doing because I told him what I'm doing long ago. And when they were tag pay, I was going through Singapore with tag pay on a mobile phone. Now they're a bank because they got specialised bank people, specialised debt collectors, specialised washed up fraud money laundering. They got all that in there and and that what that's what Pope hasn't got. He's got amateurs running his crypto and they're gonna get busted by this Moai chip coin. That's gonna go right over them with first of all starting with a trillion pound chip coin. That's what one chip coin's worth, your birth certificate your sovereignty of King William III that made the laws of money in the first place is going to liquidate and foreclose and bankrupt the whole bloody lot of you. Yeah? Why? You don't listen. You don't come to this week. I gave 57 emails for everybody to come and learn free information and so the government snaps it up. And all you people are fucking idiots not to be here with us, with me and Andy, with our knowledge. And he's in Greece where all the, the language is put together for these Greeks, the Greeks and the Germans that are running this world and all the instruments that make money. And the Greeks and King Kahatia Greek, he's going to get a knock on the head for me. And the Jack in Hamilton, he's going to knock him on the head because he's a Greek and the Greeks are second place, best, second best because they've got compromised Crypto. The crypto is created from dirty, washed up, laundered money, fiat money. And that is what they're using to prop up their money, God, and no gold. You don't need the gold. You just need the fraud, fiat money to prop your money up as replacing gold and shift around the world under false pretense. It's false. The whole thing is a scam, pyramid, Ponzi scheme game of gambling and risk high. Right? Risk high and means of loss if you don't play the game properly. And they are salesmen now, not politicians anymore on your behalf. They are trained pirates on the high sea, salesmen in investment money, gambling, Ponzi scheme. And they are, uh, the name of the company in New Zealand is National Investment Limited. Look at that. And their company that runs the racket is Crown Sovereign of New Zealand. Look at that. Two in a row. Fucking jackpot. And yeah, I'm saying it's the biggest scam in the world. And that's how they do it. Steal with the church, stick you up with the Bible and preach you sinners and then shoot you with a gun. And that's how they do it. The Pope is a murderer of Argentina because he went into the Church of the Catholic and hijacked the whole bloody lot. 
and the Church of England got hijacked by the Muslims. And why? Because the Queen let the Muslims in. And you swear your oath of office in Westminster to Allah. And that's how it is. Because they run the magistrate court in Britain. Not the natural born people on land, but the immigrants. The immigrants have taken over because the fucking Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth and Charlie took them over and sold them to Europe and the Germans and the Greeks and Italians and buggered the whole bloody system up to steal the money, the gold, and all the instruments from the Admiral of the Navy, Royal British Navy, and shut it down and took it to Britain and took it to Europe. See, so there you are. You're compromised and you have lost your way and the train has gone. See, so they say, no more, uh, Michelle, I give up. I give up because no one's listening to me. I put you fellas, I went through all the trouble three times in a row to put the emails out, put the information out so you can come and learn something. If I go to a seminar, I go to somewhere, I can charge what they do with seminars, a thousand bucks a day. A thousand bucks, just to attend. That's what they do. Five hundred bucks, just to listen to a seminar and get the information. Well, I got mine for free from the videos that I watch on YouTube and and Sailor and and Bitcoin and all those people, the professors. I listen to them, not to you. I listen to them to learn the story of money. And now it's in my brain. I know how it works, and I'll just save it for the poor people of. Palestine and get their country off those fucking bloody Israels and all this Ukraine, all that rubbish and Biden and all that upside down business to liquidate them, foreclose on them and bankrupt the whole bloody lot with King William III of Orange, War Powers Act and his Bank of England Act and his legitimacy against the Pope and his illegitimacy and his washed up laundered money, scam, crypto that has no valid or legality in where it got its authority from to make money and to wage war on the people with whose law. It's the king, Protestant king, that put the laws of war to save our business from pirates on the high sea, the black line on the flag. You fellas don't know. All you fellas don't know what that black line is. Only Anthony James with Michelle Coco and said, you said, it's Satan. That's what, it's Satan. That's where you're going with, Satan. You're going with the Iwi and Satan. You're going with King Tuhaji from Tainui and Satan. You're going along with the Pope and Satan. You're going along with the banks and Morgan, J.P. Morgan and Blackrock and their Satan. You're going along with all the Satan churches. Their churches are no bloody good. They were there just to make money and shoot everybody with a Bible. And you're going along with that. And the black Jesus is now white Jesus. And everything is tipped upside down. And the train's gone with all that lot in tow. You see? You see what I mean? You're gone. You're gone because you failed to come to Ahui to learn what to do. To save this country. Well... It's you that let it go, not me. I'm going there to save it. And when I'm good and ready now, you're not going to have me around because I'm not for sale and I'm going to keep my bloody self in my intact with my intelligence that you've gone and compromised by not being there in front of me to teach you how to do things. And now I've got to teach myself videos about money. And that's what's missing. I never had money. Now I'm going to get the whole fucking lot. And this lot, all of you, out of the bloody way, okay, with that flag. The flag is not for you, it's for business. And you're flying it for what? For what? Right? I don't know why you're flying the flag for, because it'll never get your land back off the Pope, because he's gone. He's got his money, he's got his wealth, he's got everything from the Admiral of King William III of Orange that put the War Powers Act together to collect the taxpayers' money to get the war machine and the equipment to fight the fucking French or the Germans, the Italians, the Americans and all the fucking mongrels in Rome. Okay, all the churches to fight them off. That's what he did 
That's what he did that for. And with the eight-point star of St. Patrick's Church, that I swear my oath to, and the Church of England I swear my oath to, because I'm English in my white side of law, and not compromised by the Pope and his fucking church and Bibles and war and banks. And the bank has no legitimacy. The Rothschilds will wait till they get their money off the ground and they'll shut the bank down, just like how they shut the City of London country down and then sold the real estate and got the money out of the cash and put it into the crypto. And then they're going to sell the Bank of England, because it's just a bank, and sell the pound note, get rid of it, and then they're out of England and they got the money and ran. They took the money and ran, just like Jacinda did. Stick the bloody needle in you and ran. And she's going to get the fucking hanging rope of King William III of Orange for treason and genocide and also ge uh, and also the, the Secrecy Act and the, the, the laws of information stealing. Okay? In, in espionage. Espionage. That word. Espionage and kidnapping. Kidnapping. All the fucking laws and wealthy broken. All you people break laws. And when you break this law of the King William III of Orange, you get hung. And that's the law that's coming for you, the gallows of King William III of Orange. To raise money, that's what I'm doing, raising money, billions and trillions of money, to put you under and put you on trial and throw you in the sea, back in the sea of Admiralty, where you come from, in the first place. You got on the land through him and his laws of money and mortgages and liens and indictment and laws of, 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 of transfer of land and native lands from all over the world into the British Crown ownership and legal inheritance, and that belongs to us. The Queen Victoria Trust belongs to me and my people, native of the world, 257 countries, and her 1844 trust is now the Moai King William, my crown King William for trust. That's the creditor, the bank creditor, foreclosure, liquidator, and bankrupt you all in one shot with the War Powers Act and also with the sovereignty of King William III of Orange. The Pope has no sovereignty. He stole it. He stole it and we're going to get it back off him and sink him and take all those memoirs he stole, give them back to the natives of the land that he stole it off and the memoirs to go with it and the instruments to go with it too because I'm doing the titles right here. I'm not going to court, hold a court hearing until I, I'm with, with Andy on his own and me. Here's all the information I had for the hui that was supposed to be in, in Hastings. No more. I'm just saying no more. I'm going to tell Jack Liam in Hamilton. I'm going to come down next Wednesday and shut the whole bloody lot down. And that's it. Nobody's going to put any badge on to go and do what he wants to do because he's going to have to listen to me or nothing. It's either him, the Crown King of Hanover and Britain, UK and New Zealand and nothing at all. One or the other. He either accepts it with me being a surrogate to know what all the King is about and his title and his sovereignty to all the sovereigns in the world that he put together himself with the eight point star of St. Patrick to pick up the rent lease on the land all over the world in four corners of the earth, earth on that flag with the eight point star. Not a six point star. What are you wearing a six point star for over there, um, uh, Jack? Well, uh, dear, Dean won't wear a six point star. He'll only wear an eight point star because he knows he's been taught by me. And he already been a British Pat uh, Patrick from there, a patriot from, from Britain. And so I'm supporting Dean Murray all the way. And I'm supporting Jack Liam all the way to King William III and his sovereignty to not be compromised but to take over all the sovereignties that are stolen belonging to him and the Westminster Parliament. Not the Muslims, the Westminster Parliament and the landowners, landlords, natives of England. And Andy happens to be one of them. Okay? So he's been compromised. All those people in Britain fast asleep. Now, you, you don't realise I'm there for you. Even the account, our chartered accountant for my powerhouse group limited, he's gone with the, the crypto until he gets dissolved. 
all these computers are going to lose. It's going to turn up, reset. The computer is going to switch off 10 hours, it's going to go blank, and it's going to turn off, and when it turns on, it's gone. Everything is gone, because there will only be one crypto, and that's Ripple. The government, the federal government, and the crypto will be only Ripple, and the Bitcoin which is not sovereign. That's what he said. The Bitcoin is not sovereign. So he can't use sovereign over his Bitcoin, so he'll lose it. And the XRP is not sovereign, because that's what the Pope is saying. I've got the sovereign of everybody. I've bought Ancestry.com DNA of everybody in the world, except us, the King William Four sovereigns. Okay, we're going to stick it to them and stick the dagger right at them with the law of mortgages. We're going to mortgage him. He's already mortgaged 970 million trillion trillion pound note with Ernest Augustus V of Britain, UK, Hanover, sitting there in London, very much alive. Okay, so that's the king of our documents. He's the one that's got the authority over the Pope and his compromised sovereignty is not going to wear. He might have the best certificate, but we default him and take the whole thing off him. The Russians and the BRICS will go in contract with trillions to go and do the job and go and get them back. Go and take all the washed up money, the, the, the proceeds of crime and the, the um, liquidation of all those proceeds back into the hands of their native land owners or landlords of the land. Okay, and me with behind the documents as a surrogate king to talk king talk. That's what I'm there for. Talk king talk. So I think that's enough for now because I'll wait for Angie and we're gonna run a court hearing of our own without any marriage or anybody in because they'll just fall back in their old ways, drugs, drugs, sex, music and unrest and kids going haywire because they follow the parents. I was there for the kids, not for the people who are grown up in their old habits. They will not die. They'll go with their habits and hard to teach old fellows new tricks. The only way to get it is the young people and they're, they're, they're the only ones that are watching everything on a mobile phone and they're not too bothered about old people like me and they follow the leader. They'll follow into the black hole dungeon of Satan. And that's the way it's going. The kids are indoctrinated and the parents don't care because they've only got themselves to blame and to worry about where they're going to get the money from because all the machines will be shut. No more banks, no more cash, and that's it. You're gone and you're going to have to get a warrant. All of you people, including you, Tekaya, that turned me down and said, you have nothing to do with me, fine. You know what? It's supposed to be like that. It was to weed you out just to see that you wear a cross of God, Jesus, and you swear like buggery to me. You said, don't you do that to me. I said, well, don't you do this to me and bend my intelligence with yours. You go and get your own money now because I'm not going to help you. I'm going to help the people in Palestine get their country back off Israel, bloody Zionists and corporate thugs like Iwi. Okay? All corporates lead to hell. And hell is what I see. And that's all you got. Hell. Your cross is hell because you swore. You swore at me. And that's not acceptable to King William III of Orange. That got you on the land in the first place. And you'll have to fight to keep the land. Because unfortunately, I've got no crypto chip coin money. And yet, I've got no pound note yet. It's coming. I've got patience. I can wait another year. I can wait another week. I can wait another day. And I'll get there in the end. Because I haven't changed. You fellas change. I don't change. You fellas change. Your corporate crown and Jacinda Ardern and Chris Luxon and Winston Peters change their pants, pants every time. Now they're there for their pocket. Now they're there for their own self-interest and the Pope's self-interest. Churches are useless. They are not good, but only the St. Patrick Church and of Ireland and the Church of England, which is compromised, is owned by the Muslims now. So the Muslims have taken over, 
and I'll just tell them, you're, you're, you're just immigrants and you have to go home. If you don't, you can stay there as rent, campaign rent, and we'll take all your properties and put them back into the king's hands. Okay, that's how it's going to be. You do that in our country, you do that in your country, you can't do that in our country. You can't do that here either, because the Pope owns you and not us. Okay? So there, that's enough. I'll see you later. I'm going to have some dinner now. So I'm, the shop's closed now, so piss me off. I had enough, enough for a day. Enough for a day. I've got a new, new day tomorrow with Ralph Carr and Pare Rivers learning the bank, and they'll be very good by the time I finish and put the money in the right place, not in the crypto, but in the chip coin. So you go your way, go and get the chip, go and get the crypto, because there's no chip coin out yet. It's not going to come out till I'm good and ready, and when things are going good with Jack Liam, and he understands where I'm coming from, and Dean Murray, where he's coming from, and he doesn't have to wear the six-point star of David, he just wears the eight-point star and just stands still and say nothing, he'll be right. He's right because I support him and he's going to be well off with us and what we're going to get, the trillions. The 17 trillion of Eddie Mitchell and put that as a loan with Scarlet Bank for here, for New Zealand and so on. In England, India and Scotland, Ireland, Wales and all going to follow the same pattern. Borrow the money and go and spread it out and get the good of it back for that country. Okay? I'll just use the hedge fund all the way around and go all over the world in 257 countries doing the same thing and multiply, multiply, multiply. When their stock market goes out of business, then there's no stock market anymore. They've got their crypto, we've got our chip coin, and we'll beat the shit out of them. Okay, so there, no more, finish. See you later, bye. Today is Sunday, 21st of July, 2024. And I'll get back on to the bank tomorrow and also the uh, complaints department with the tax department in Australia to do an audit, full audit, on 303 companies of Eddie Mitchell Family Trust. And they'll get to the bottom of it. And Scarlett, debt recovery company, Tutaki, will go after that as well with the tax department and get the money back in my bank account. And I'll put it where I want to put it. And I won't be putting help in anybody because they've they're, they're chosen their bed to sleep in, it's supposed to be in the iwi, just like the car. You go back to the iwi, mate, with their wallet, and if they tell you you're going to spend dig potatoes and kumas, you'll have to dig, mate, because you've got no cash no more, and you're going to get money from somewhere, you got to get it from the iwi. <coughs> and, and good on the iwi, they've, they've, they've won this time around, and for now, temporary, they won, they're winning, because they got the guns, the money, and the Pope. And we've got Jack Liam, <coughs> King William III, and me, the surrogate king, William III of Orange, and our sovereignty, intact, ready to go and do business. Okay, so we're making that public to Andy. He knows, he understands, he's learning as well. He's learning, the matrix is going to fall over and bust. Rome will burn to hell. And burn again, because it's got Cleopatra woman trying to be a king's job. The woman won't, won't, won't work. The woman in charge won't work because the house, father of the house is missing. The family split because the father's missing. And that's the problem with families. Okay? No, no more. Finish. No, that's it. You go that way and we're going this way. Okay, bye. What's going on here with 19, 21?